everyone, Des respected dignitaries and staffs and my dear students. World Oral Health Day is celebrated every year, March 20, to up get awareness or provide commemorate the oral health hygiene. Because overall the oral health diseases are even curable or preventable, over 3.5 billion people are affected with oral health diseases. So today, I am here to explain you about the brushing technique. Before going to the brushing technique, let me explain some facts about the brushing. As we all know, the uh, American Gender Association has stated some points to make our horror hygiene better. So the first tip is, while using our brush, we have to use a soft bristle brush and brush at least twice daily. While using our toothbrush and toothpaste, take a peanut shaped or peanut sized toothpaste for daily brushing. Don't use over amount of toothpaste. It can affect our enamel and destroy our enamel. And also try to use a ADA, ADA recommended toothpaste such as which contain fluoride content. But the fluoride content cannot be too more or too less. It should be in an accurate level. Also, try to brush daily or twice a day. And let me come to the brushing technique. Before going to the brushing technique, let me explain some things about the brush uh, Overall, the normal human being may contain 32 maximum number of teeth. These are the permanent teeth that a human being could have. And in these 32 number of teeth, there are 8 incisors, 4 canines, and 8 premolars, and 12 molars. And going to the brushing technique, we have to use a soft bristle brush, which is more flexible. And take a peanut shape or size toothpaste in the brush. First, we have to follow the tip that we have to put the brush in a 45 degree angle from the gingiva to the teeth. And always focus on three teeth at a time while brushing your teeth. And keep it in a 45 degree angle and give a circular motion. Don't apply more pressure while you are brushing and apply some press, uh, small pressure and brush like in a uh, circular motion. And after the circular motion, give a swipe from the incisional surface to the occlusive surface so that the dirt accumulated in between can be cleared off. And this procedure should be continued for the front portion of the teeth. We should cover all the teeth in a such a position and remember to you clean the teeth three teeth at a time. After cleaning the outer portion, we have to give more concentrate to the inside portion. While cleaning the inside portion, clean on the other side of the teeth, that is the inside of the teeth or back of the teeth. And we have to follow the same position, uh, same procedure like a circular motion and give a sweep from incisional to occlusive surface. After cleaning the inside portion, concentrate on the front teeth of the upper teeth. So these front teeth, we have to give more concentration, cast the brush in a horizontal, sorry, vertical position and clean through fourth and up and forth position. Clean your teeth and this same procedure can be given to the lower teeth, the front portion. Give an up and down position to the teeth. After cleaning the inside portion, we have to give more concentrate to the biting portion. The biting portion, there is more accumulation of dirt or food particles. So we have to remove these food particles. So take the breast and catch it in a horizontal position and give a back and forth movement to the uh, teeth. And clean all the biting portion. And this is the brushing technique. And this brushing technique is known as modified bass technique. And after brushing, you have to rinse the uh, mouth with clean water. And as we all know, in the older times, there was no toothpaste or tooth powder, etc. So the or, uh, rural area people or the poor people often use some herbals for cleaning the teeth. And such herbals are neem. They used to chew the neem sticks.
so that it can provide some antibacterial uh, effects on the teeth, so that the bacteria are removed off. All over the India, neem is used. Nowadays, also some rural areas, people are using neem. Next is tulsi. Tulsi have antimicrobial effect, antibacterial effect, anti-inflammatory effect, and also a hepatoprotective effect. So that it clean our teeth and provide a good smell and uh, clean out the bad smell. Next is mint. Mint also helps to give some uh, good smell that it can uh, avoid bad breath. Next is cardamom. Cardamom also have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effect and it can also avoid uh, bad breath. Next is tooth powders. Tooth powders are used the paste, uh, if the person is not able to use toothpaste because toothpaste contain more fluoride than tooth powder but fluoride is needed for the brushing but some people prefer more on tooth powder because it, it is less chemical and next is uh, mouthwash do not use mouthwash after brushing your teeth it can be used after having any meals like uh, lens etc and we don't have to use uh, mouthwash after having our fresh. And I hope all of you understood my statement. Thank you. Information of all these things, Google. Yes. Okay. See, and uh, you explained everything very nicely. Uh, I want to ask you, when you think you have to change your toothbrush? Uh, it is. We have to change the toothbrush three to four months, or sooner if the bristles are frayed off. We have to use a new. These are all very simple answers, but uh, they don't do it, right? And uh, one more thing, you said about toothpaste and tooth powder. Whatever information you gather, which you think is better, which you would suggest? Uh, better in case of chemicals, tooth powders are better because it. See, always toothpaste is better because it's in a powder form. So that the granules is like an abrasive. It will cause a lot of abra abrasion on the teeth and sensitivity. So all we, we usually dentists we say you should not use tooth powders. Okay? Yeah, good.